Kate and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been following me on my blog or Instagram or my shop, um, this is what I sound like. I started the YouTube channel and I, I really wanted to do videos where I talked, but I'm so self-conscious about it. I just kept uploading ones where they're like silent. But I, um, I got this, this box in the mail today and I thought it would be fun to do like an unboxing thing because like a lot of YouTube channels that I like do those and I like watching them. And, um, and I thought, well, it would be hard to do a silent unboxing, so I'm just gonna have to speak. I'm super, super nervous and uncomfortable and awkward, and I'm hoping these will be better as I go on, and I won't be so, like, rambly and awkward and, and do this all the time. I just, I'm just very nervous. I'm also, like, really, really hot, and it's just very hot in here, and I'm wearing a sweater dress and a cardigan. I have no idea why. But anyway, the box. Um, this is the box. I was just like scrolling on Facebook one day and I saw an ad for this thing. It said like, um, it was like, most women have $5,000 worth of clothes in their closet that they never wear. And, um, and uh, if you've seen my closet, you know that probably uh, struck a chord with me. And it was this, um, this service where like you pay a certain amount each month and they send you a box with like four items in it you can wear them as much as you want and then you send them back and they send you four more items or, or if you like really love something you could buy it so um so i just like signed up didn't give you an idea of what would be in the boxes um on the website until you signed up so i signed up i paid like i don't know like 60 dollars or something for the month and um then it like had you answer like some questions about your style and it like pre-selects a uh, a tote for you Oh, it's called La Tote. Did I say that? Okay, anyway, it's called La Tote. You can, like, just get whatever they pre-select for you based on the questionnaire, or you can, like, swap things out and sort of shop. And I swapped all four of my things because I didn't like anything they picked for me. I mean, I just, like, as you probably know, don't have, like, a very normal style. So, like, you know, they're like, here's this gray blazer or whatever. I'm like, no. <laughs> I picked, I picked these out, so it's not that exciting of an unboxing um I don't know I'm ex I thought it would be fun anyway it's like very intense tape they have on here it's like my scissors don't want to cut through it why am I so nervous also like nobody's home and I wanted to do this when nobody was home because it's very awkward talking to yourself when other people can hear you I guess I think I only have until four o'clock which gives me 20 minutes so considering I already like I filmed the beginning like the hi I'm Kate I filmed that like 17 times or something because I'm so nervous and I just kept saying it and then going like <clears throat> like I'm so nervous anyway okay I'm opening the box and oh it's cute it's pink inside I like that okay the pink oh like tissue paper thing it comes with a prepaid return label nice I feel like if I like this and then like the stuff fits me and I wear it and then I send it back and then um, maybe I try like one more time and see if uh, based on the four things I swapped if they're like oh she likes colorful stuff and she likes dresses that flare out instead of being fitted or you know if they kind of get an idea like maybe it's like an algorithm thing where it'll understand my style more because it would be really fun to like get stuff that I have no idea what's in it until it comes you know. Okay, first I got this yellow dress. It's pretty. It looks a little big. It has a waist tie. I like it. It's a nice fabric. I think that's one that would be like I like it, but I'll probably wear it once or twice and send it back. I don't think I'd be like, I can't part with this. I was excited. They had um, some Yumi stuff. I think it's a British brand. I have some of their dresses. They have fun, like, novelty print stuff. So I got this dress. This is one that, if it fits, I might might possibly want to keep this. I don't know if you can see. It's, like, um, almost like interiors, like apartments with you know, plants and stuff hanging on the wall. It's cute, right? I like the colors. It's really unique. I think, um, that might be like a not send it back one. 
I, this was what I was most excited about. I've been like on a novelty sweater kick. By the way, I feel like I'm getting a little better at this. Less, a little less awkward. Now I just made it awkward again. Okay, anyway, um, I was excited about this. I've been on like a novelty sweater kick where like I just like wearing like a um, like a plain skater dress and then wearing a novelty sweater over it. Not a cardigan, but like a, a sweater. I have uh, one from Joni that says uh, Guten Tag. It's really cute. It's like orange and um, cream colored and they have one that says like beauty school dropout and um, I got one from Mod Cloth that looks like fake. It's like a pair of glasses with like a fake glasses chain like it's hanging around your your neck. It's really cute. So I saw this one and I thought this is this fits in with my little novelty print um, sweater obsession. It's like a blue sweater and it has like a okay I don't know how you actually say this even though like I studied art history but it's like Trump Trump Loy Trump Lol Trump Loy Trump Lol Trump Trump Lol but anyway it's like a you know not a real bow it's printed on but I think that's so cute it's a little thinner than I anticipated but that might be nice it's easier to like tuck into skirts if they're too thick then you're all like bunchy okay and then the last thing is this dress it's a more of like a sage green it looked mint online but it's just like a cute uh like fit and flare polka dot dress and it has like almost like a little sweetheart neckline it's cute i think i think i'll get some cute nice outfits out of that i think like I mean, I obviously have to try them on and I'm sure something isn't going to fit me. But so far, I kind of feel like I'll wear, I'll definitely wear the the sweater and the polka dot dress a couple times and then probably send them back. If this one, uh, the, the Yumi one, if that fits nice, I think I might end up paying to keep that one. It's really cute. I mean, the only thing though is that then I feel like, what's the point of the $60 a month, like, oh, you have so much in your closet, you know, rent these things and then send them back. If you're also buying the clothes and keeping them in your closet, then I might as well just go buy buy stuff, right? I don't know. So, I'm bit Oh, hi. Hi. If you haven't met her yet, this is Arietti. Also, you say it Arietti. A lot of my friends like when I first got her weren't sure how to say it. Um Whenever, like, the vet's office calls to, like, confirm an appointment, they're like, uh, we're calling to confirm Ariety's appointment. <laughs> I named her after the character in the Borrower's books. My mom used to read them to me when I was little. Oh, don't eat the dress. And then I won't, really won't be able to send them back. That wraps things up for today. Um, hopefully there will be future videos, and if there are, hopefully I will see you there. Um, thanks for watching.